Delft, Netherlands. Exact is a software company that builds software for business customers around the world. They operate in seven countries and have over 1,600 employees working for them. They inspire their customers to grow by embracing digitalization. This is a company that lives and breathes digital possible. Earlier 2016, Exact and BT signed their partnership. Next to delivering an integrated end-to-end -end global infrastructure to support Exact's internal applications and communication services like voice, video and conferencing, BT provides connectivity into the global data centers hosting Exact business applications and data, leveraging our high-performance connections to Microsoft Azure. Recognizing the vital importance of their data services, Exact asked BT to also provide extensive cloud-based protection against cyber threats. Today we are excited to talk to Mark Appel, Global Marketing Director Cloud Solutions at Exact. He is a true marketing leader, ranked in the Dutch Top 100 Marketeers 2015. He is a driving force behind Exact Online, Exact Business Software in the Cloud. We ask his views on achieving digital possible. Mark, according to the World Economic Forum, we're on the threshold of the fourth industrial revolution, one driven by digitalization and technology. What are your views on the digital era and the impact of technology specifically? Yeah, well, technology is everywhere. So it's in our daily lives, uh, whether you are a kid, teenager or grown up person. Uh, it starts already in the morning. And uh, if I look to myself, I have devices all around me, whether it's my smartphone, whether it's my activity tracker, my smartwatch, and uh, it is registering my life. So I can gain some additional insights out of it. But it's the same for businesses. So everything is recorded, everything is registered in a digital way, which means that lots of data, lots of insights are uh, gathered and uh, we can derive some smart insights out of that which helps us to do our thing, uh, whether that's business, whether that's our private life, etc. What do you think is needed to fully leverage this digital possible for businesses? Yeah, well, it, it requires a completely different way of thinking uh, because game, the game changes, uh, the play field changes, the rules of the games are, play, are, are changing. And uh, you could say that, that, let's say, data is the new currency. And the one who is able to collect as much data as possible is able to derive also valuable insights out of it, which means it can play a very important role in the days of the lives of professionals, of businesses, etc. And therefore, in order to then come up with new type of services where people uh, really do have the need for, it needs another way of let's say, approaching and thinking and designing new products and services. How do you see digitalization impacting your business strategy and the way people work and design services? Yeah, it's impacting uh, exact a lot. Uh, we started as a software company 30 years ago. And I think that already 10 years ago, we started our own, uh, let's say, digital transformation because we used to develop on-premise software so you needed to install on server systems and to install on your PC. And already 10 years ago, we started with Exact Online, which is, let's say, our SaaS offering, our software as a service offering. So that resulted in a completely different go-to-market model uh, for our business software. And uh, today, uh, you can just go to the website, uh, type in your details, and you can start with our software right away. And if you want uh, to cancel that subscription, because it's subscription-based, you can just hit the button uh, unsubscribe and you are done. Which means a completely different way of interacting with our customers, making sure they remain and stay happy with us and even uh, act for us like a kind of uh, ambassador. But also today, we are still in this uh, digital transformation because another go-to-market model is, is not enough. We also need to think about new services. Uh, we don't want to end up like a kind of back-end uh, back vendor uh, only for accounting software or business software in the back-end. We really want to play uh, an important role in the lives of the audience that we try to serve, eh, which is mainly small businesses. And within those small businesses, the small business owners. And in order to come up with new kind of services, 
based on the newest technologies, uh, we need to think in a completely different way. So it also means that we not only fully need to embrace technology as such, but also need to change the way uh, we develop new services for our audiences, which means not only product development people thinking about that, but as from the start, uh, cross-functional uh, people involved in that process. So from sales, marketing, product marketing, technology, all, let's say, working together in multidisciplinary teams to come up with this new uh, type of services. How does it impact you and your team of marketing professionals specifically? It changed a lot within the marketing. So I joined uh, Exact, uh, what is it now, four and a half years ago. And uh, within those four and, a half years, uh, four and a half years, lots of things changed within the profession of marketing, uh, also driven by technology. Uh, because we are talking about uh, coming up with smart suggestions eh? once people start to buy things or to uh, start to look for certain things, whether these are private persons or business persons. Uh, but what you see in the last couple of years is that yeah, all this technology enables us, allows us right now to really come up with very smart things, eh? whether it's about uh, leading people th uh, along the customer buying journey and all to make sure that, yeah, first of all, you reach the audience that you want to reach. And once you reach that audience, that you come up with a yeah, relevant message, uh, which makes them click, which makes them engage with, with us as a company. And there it starts, because once people start to enter, let's say, our, what we call the customer buying journey, uh, the seduction game, it starts. And lots of data is uh, required in order to yeah, play that game in a very smart way. And uh, if you look to Exact Online today, uh, we are generating more than 1,000 new customers on our platform each and every week. And therefore, we need to come up with about three to 5,000 uh, leads each and every week, which means high volume uh, in multiple countries. Eh? So we are operating in seven different countries now, which means a completely different way of yeah, making sure that marketing engine, that demand generation engine, is working properly. So I have lots of creative people in my team, uh, but also lots of technology people within the team. And even in the last couple of years, what we see is that we try to hire people, uh, not really specialists, but people who are able to cover multiple areas. So we have people who are let's say, uh, uh, who resides in the, in the content, uh, content creation team, but do also have some skills with regards to building websites or even some technology skills. Because I truly believe that if you want to practice marketing in a, let's say, contemporary way, uh, you, need to be, you need also to have a broad, let's say, uh, vision on marketing itself. You need to embrace not only the creative part, but also the technology part, because yeah, that's really important to yeah, play the game uh, right. Mark, what would you recommend my fellow marketers at BT for achieving the potential digital possible holds? Yeah, well, uh, I, I think as a marketing profession, you are obliged to, to, to embrace technology. You are obliged to, obliged to embrace also social, and social to me means uh, acting uh, transparent, fully transparent, in order to make sure that others uh, have full visibility about the things that you are doing, but also by acting fully transparent, you also give others the ability to react on your stuff, your opinion, the, 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 the person who you are, but also the things you do. And uh, yeah, and, and, and that's what marketing is about, uh, in my opinion, today. So make sure you embrace all technology, act in a smart and, and open, transparent way, uh, in order to, yeah, let's say, interact with as much people as possible, and not only uh, your marketing peers, but especially people from within the organization, eh? whether these are salespeople or technology people or product marketing people, because you cannot do it by yourself. Eh? You always need other people uh, to succeed. And once you work in a multidisciplinary team in a kind of agile way, yeah, you can come up with new things, new thoughts, new products, new services. Yeah, that can really help you as a company to succeed.